Hi my dear students welcome back to our mathematics class in the previous two videos we discussed about person today we shall do exercise questions from the textbook page number 150 question number 1 students see the advertisement yes 30% off on all items sheila bought clothes worth 1800 rupees how much should she pay in the question given that 30% off on all items that is every 100 rupees 30 rupees is plus also given that price of the cloth is 1800 rupees so amount less is equal to 1800 How many hundreds are there? Yes, 1800 divided by 100 into 30. Okay. Which is equal to 1800 divided by 100 is 18. 18 into 30. Which is 540. Okay. Less amount is 540 rupees. Then amount paid by Sheila is equal to given amount of cloth minus less amount. Okay, which is one thousand eight hundred minus five hundred forty, which is equal to one thousand two hundred sixty rupees. So amount paid by Sheila after reduction. is 1260 rupees then we move to the second question johnny saved 15% of his earnings each month in january he got 32000 rupees how much would he save in the question we have to find how much amount would save by johnny here Johnny saved fifteen percentage of his earnings. That is, every hundred rupees, Johnny saved fifteen rupees. Then, the amount saved by Johnny is equal to total amount. How much? Thirty-two thousand. Then, thirty-two thousand divided by hundred into fifteen, because Every hundred rupees he served fifteen rupees. Okay, which is equal to thirty-two thousand divided by hundred is three hundred twenty into fifteen, which is equal to four thousand eight hundred. So money saved by Johnny is equal to four thousand eight hundred rupees. Next we move to the third question. A TV manufacturer decides to raise prices by 5% next month. The price of a model is 26000 rupees now. What would be its price next month? In the question, the manufacturer decides to raise the price by 5%. That is for every 100 rupees, he raised the amount by 5 rupees. Given that price of tv is equal to 26000 rupees then amount rise is equal to 26000 divided by 100 into 5 because the manufacturer raised the amount by 5 percentage next month 26000 divided by 100 is 260 260 into 5 Which is equal to one thousand three hundred rupees. Then price of TV in next month is equal to original price twenty six thousand plus amount rise one thousand three hundred. So it becomes 
which is equal to 27,300 rupees. So the price of the TV in next month is equal to 27,300 rupees. Next we shall learn the conversion of percent into fraction. Let's do some examples. 5% which is equal to 5% means 5 by 100 that is rate per 100. Then 10% is 10 by 100. Okay. 20% is 20 by 100. And 40% is 40 by 100. 100 percent is rate per 100 next we shall do a question from the textbook page number 151 first one what is 20 percent of 60 what about 60 percent of 20 what is 20 percent of 60 20 percent of 60 is equal to 20 percent is 20 by 100 that is 20 by 100 of 60 which is equal to 20 by 100 of means into into 60 which is 20 into 60 divided by 100 20 into 60 is 1200 it is 1200 divided by 100 which is equal to so 20 percent of 60 is 12. Then we have to find 60 percent of 20. 60 percent of 20 is equal to 60 percent is 60 by 100. That is 60 by 100 into 20. Okay which is equal to 60 into 20 1200 divided by 100 60 into 20 is 1200 so it becomes 1200 divided by 100 which is equal to 12 so 60 percent of 20 is equal to 12 we got 20% of 60 equal to 12. So, both 60% of 20 and 20% of 60 are same. Next, we have to find 40% of 30. Which is 40% means 40 by 100 into 30. 40 into 30, 1200 divided by 100. 1200 divided by 100 is 12. Then 30% of 40 is equal to 30% means 30 by 100 into 40. Okay. 30 into 40 is 1200 divided by 100 which is equal to 12. Okay. From the question, we identified that if the percent and the number interchange, the value cannot interchange. Students, do the remaining questions from the textbook page number 150. Today's class is over. Thank you.